seated. Good to be here in church tonight, isn't it? Sound man. Amen. Well, these kids have been looking forward to youth rally ever since last year. Ain't that right? Amen. Deacons, no, deacons are over here. All these are deacons. We got some more of them here, not here tonight, be here tomorrow. We have a deacons meeting. Whatever we say, that's what they agreed to. That's where deacons supposed to be. Ain't that right? What a blessing. All right, they're going to sing a little bit, say some stuff for you tonight. Because this is youth rally. All right? Jesus. If you're here discouraged or way down low, if you think that there's no place to go, if you're down and out or even backslid, you're going to hear preaching from a man named Phil Kidd. Yep. Remember now, remember now the creator in the days that I use. For the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. Thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. Man. Jesus saves. A place to come, a place to play, only here for a while, we cannot stay. Take a warning from this little rhyme, 
Get around right with God while there's still time. Welcome to Youth Valley, the best time of the year. We come from far, we come from near, but most important of all, we want you to hear the message of salvation loud and clear. Voices are red, violets are blue. We want you to know we're praying for you. You can run far away, but you can't hide. You can laugh and joke or even backslide, but there's just one thing, there is no doubt. Be sure your sin will find you out. Welcome. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Dear Lord, you've been so good to me for all I have and all I see. I'm thankful, Lord, yes. especially today, we get to eat and we get to play. You've blessed me with a great family, a good mom and dad, it's easy to see. I'm thankful for Shining Light and my preacher. I'm thankful for Miss Carrie and all of my teachers. But most of all, I'm thankful for Jesus, who died on the tree, to make salvation possible for people like me. Amen. All right. All right, y'all just stay up here, line up, and our choir is going to come sing a little bit. Y'all come on. Shine like choir. Bring somebody with you. Let's go. Fill it up. Please fill it, y'all. Come on. Sing. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on, Opal. You don't have to go to that church. You don't even have to be saved. No, you don't. Christian life. I know some of you had a rough time getting here. We still got a bunch of people that can't even get here. Bus broke down over in Lenore, about 25 miles from here. They're sitting on the side of the road, and they called me, and we tried to send another one after them, and then we sent a mechanic, and I don't know where they're at. They sent the back end of the bus, is almost sticking out in the road, so pray for them. Uh, I said, get the kids off. Uh, but anyway, hopefully they'll make it in here after a while. But y'all know what you've been through today, or all week, or all your life. I've been through enough to know He's going to take care of you. I've been through enough to guarantee you, if you're a child of God, He is going to get you through. He will finish the work that He started. Listen now. When I first started walking with the Lord, I did not fully trust Him. How He longed for me to understand that I could so Come through too many times. He's come through too many 
without a God whose hands hold this universe. Amen. How could I ever question his ability? Come on now. You see, there's no place that I can go that he doesn't know. How this miracle took place A love beyond measure Our God's amazing grace Sometimes when we're weary We might stumble stumble and fall Just one drop of His precious blood Covers it all Yeah. 
they come down. Turn around there and be friendly to the ugliest person you see. There he is, right there. Fellowship there a little bit. Amen. Just turn around there and be friendly to somebody tonight. Tell them you're glad they're here. All right. All right, you can be seated. All right, have a seat right quick. This is only the beginning of the giant spring youth rally. Now, everybody listen up now. Um, we wait all year long for this. And I know some of you have just got off the road. You've been driving. There's people here from Florida. There's people here from New York and about everywhere in between. And you drove a long way and you're tired. And uh, hopefully you can get a good night's sleep. You got your little blue paper right here. If you did not get one of them, that's the schedule of what's going on, the little blue ones. Well, you, ladies, y'all help me do something right here. Y'all get these uh, orange ones. And um, here's what I want to do. I want one representative from each church. If you've got a group here, if ain't three of you, stand up right quick or raise your hand. Or just stand so they can see you. One group, one representative from every church. Just stand up right quick. Uh, one representative from every church and get one of these and fill it out, okay? All right. Uh, and we'll drop that in the offering plate here in a little bit. If just if there's ain't but two of you, you ain't ashamed of your church, I hope. Oh, I know you're afraid they're gonna find out you were here. That's it. We'll pray, Lord, give you some guts. Uh, you ain't never gonna be blessed like that. Anybody else? Stand up. Got a bunch of churches back there tonight. Amen. Now you are in something tonight. I don't know if you know it. But you're in something here this evening that's unique. There ain't nothing much like this anywhere. There's a lot of youth meetings, but not with the crowd that we've got here tonight and tomorrow night. So we need you to pray. We're almost outnumbered in here. You're going to see a lot of kids running around. Thank you, ma'ams. And uh, uh, you're going to see a lot of little kids running around. So I'll tell you what I want you to do. If you're great and wise and spiritual, pray that the Lord will speak to their heart. Because that's the only hope they got. That's what got me one day. And that's what will get them. Amen. Amen. All right. Todd, where you at? Are you in here? Uh, I'm going to have Todd give his testimony tonight. Many of you, it's been two or three years since he's done this. And he's the one down there jumping them buses. And... Uh, I appreciate Todd. Besides being a a man, he's my son-in-law, of course. And uh, I appreciate what the Lord's done in his life. And I can tell you this about him. He's got a heart for kids and a heart for the Lord. And I appreciate that. So he's going to just take a minute and tell whatever. Hey, I'm glad to be here. Uh, I was just thinking back, you know, Man, it wasn't long ago. I was 16, 17, 18 years old, and, and uh, I grew up riding motorcycles. And uh, and some of you guys heard my testimony several times. But you know, as a kid, man, I had a dream, and I wanted to race motorcycles. And uh, at at 13 years old, I started racing, and at 16, I turned pro. And and uh, and man, you know, uh, a lot of things started happening. I started racing uh, pro supercross. Started having some some uh, qualifying for supercross and 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 uh, as a kid, I tell everybody, I tell everybody always where I go, man. All you kids, you got to dream big, and uh, you know, dream the wildest dream you can dream, because the Lord can make it come true. He can, and uh, He can do greater and greater than you can ever imagine. And uh, 
you know, I didn't have it all figured out, but I just had a dream. And, man, that's what's good about when you're a kid, you can just dream, man. You can have a plan, and, and, uh, and man, I, you ought to have a focus. And, and uh, all I want to do is race motorcycles. I want, you know, that's it. And, uh, and uh, man, you ought to follow your heart. I, I believe that. I believe that every kid in here, you have something you want to do, and, and uh, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, man, the Lord can use you. And, uh, you know, I didn't grow up in church. Uh, we did go on and off on occasion and and uh but you know we raced motorcycles and traveled and all that stuff and and uh and i had a focus to do that but you know i didn't you know your body has to have food but you also if you're gonna if you're gonna make it in this life you better feed it feed it with some spiritual things and uh man i didn't grow up in church and and uh i didn't know what i was missing and and uh Man, long story short, long story, I, I, I got invited to youth camp. I was, I was, you know, I didn't have a, I didn't know what was going on, but I wanted to come see, see what was going on. And, you know, as a kid, you know, dreaming, I, I, I accomplished goal after goal. And listen to me, and you guys may not understand this, but listen, I'm telling you, I've been on both sides. I started with nothing, didn't have anything, and started making some money racing. And then I own, I own a couple businesses now, and I've made some money. And let me tell you something money won't buy. And, and people say it all the time, and you won't listen to me. And people won't listen. Money won't buy you happiness. And, and money will buy you things, but those things tear up, and those things have to be fixed. And you think, well, if I had so-and-so's money, will I just buy more things? Well, you're just going to have more problems. And, uh, man, if you'll just learn the simple, the simple thing, man, is if you'll put the Lord first. You know, I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan B. But I, I, I realized, man, I got right with the Lord at 18. And uh, you know what? I went to work for nothing. I could make more money in one night racing a motorcycle than I, than I could for two months. I work a job two months and make the same money. And you know what? But I found, I found what I was looking for. And, man, the Lord got a hold of my heart. And you know what? I pray. I pray every day. I say, Lord, direct my path. You know, I don't have it all figured out, but... The Lord's done great things for me, and if you want to, if you want to, if you want to do things like I do and like Daxton does and, and Hayden, and and you want to make an impact on people, you just put Him first, man. He's got a plan, and uh, the sky's the limit, man. And the Lord's been good to me, and, and man, He's blessed my life, and and uh, man, it's been good. And, and the secret to the, the secret to everything is put the Lord first, and uh, I believe that, man. He's been good to me, and. And uh, he's blessed my life far greater than I deserve. And it ain't, it ain't about money or things. It never has been. And you know what? If money could buy the things you need, you know, people wouldn't die. They would, have a, they would just say, I'm going to pay for that. There's people that's got more money than, than you could ever imagine. They just buy, buy the cure. But money can't keep you here any longer. Money can't buy you happiness. And, and man, focus on the Lord, man. He'll give you all those things. He'll take care of you. But, man, put him first. And I just thank the Lord for saving me, and he's been good to me. Amen. Go with that. Say amen. Hallelujah. Now, they're going to be jumping again tomorrow and, uh, and doing some other stuff that you'll, you'll be, uh, you know, probably, most of y'all probably never get to go to one of them big races in Atlanta or wherever. I sure wouldn't. Uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to see my grandson do it. He was national champion a couple of years ago, but I sure ain't going to go to Atlanta. Uh, but anyway, it's good to see all of you here tonight. Make yourself at home. We have a bunch of preachers here. We don't have time for all of you to say something, but every preacher, if God's called you to preach, whether you're a pastor or not, would you stand, please? All you preachers, stand, please. Hey, Amen. Isn't that a crowd of preachers? All right, let's give them a big hand. I heard Brother Gary. Hey, man. Y'all be seated, fellas. These guys, guys, I'm all the way up here in Delaware. Thought there's a weird spirit in here. Them young Yankee people from up north come in here. You can feel it, you know. Huh? Oh, they're doing good. I appreciate these thugs coming in to be with us tonight. We got one in New York City. Uh, Brother Eugene, where you at, man? So little I didn't even see you over there. But Gary and uh, Jeremy and all them back there. We was down there in Revival meeting a couple of weeks ago. Boy, we had a time. Man, we had a time down in Gastonia. But there's a bunch of more preachers coming tomorrow and a bunch more people coming tomorrow. So enjoy all this extra room you got here tonight. Big crowds coming tomorrow. 
It's just warming up. So it's going to be a great weekend. We uh, are going to mention several things to you. We also have tonight, uh, I don't usually do this, but we have Mr. Ira Roberts, who is a uh, pro-life Christian, pro-gun, Army veteran, and uh, will help uh, 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 running uh, for our, our district. I forgot what's how you cut that. You stand up there, brother, and just tell them what it is. Amen. Just give him a big hand. Thank God. Amen. And that's Burke County, Catawba County. I'm, I don't. Okay. Big place. All right. We're glad he's here. I appreciate the man coming here. Stand for something. Lord knows we need it, don't we? Good night. All right. Now we're going to do something right quick and then have some more singing. Uh, I want to tell you just a minute about the the schedule. Make sure you get one of those little blue papers here. This shows you the schedule for tonight and tomorrow and Sunday. We hope that you'll stay all weekend. We got the most amazing weekend I think we've ever had planned out uh, tomorrow at 12 o'clock. They're going to kick it off with hot dogs and hamburgers, funnel cakes, cotton candy. Men's here and apple, uh, candy apples and everything. Uh, we have a big day planned tomorrow. Boxing. If you are man enough or woman enough to box, they're going to let you box down there. Uh, then it's building below us tomorrow starting about 12.30, from 12.30 to 1.30. The only rule is you can't get mad. All right? Uh, got something against somebody? Good, good place to settle it right down there. All right. That's the way the Baptists do it. Uh, so don't forget that. But anyway, right now, I'd like for our ushers to come, and we'll just take our offering, and then we're going to have some more singing tonight. Come on, ushers. And as you can see, it takes a lot of money to do this. So we're asking for help. Come on, ushers. Amen. We'll just draft some of you. Thank you, fellas. Let's all get ready to give tonight. Honor the Lord. Yeah, we need one more probably. Come on, y'all just stand, please. Everyone stand. And I hope you'll give something special tonight. The Lord speaks to your heart. We're feeding all the bus kids that come for free. We're renting the space, uh, this place, and uh, we're not making money. We're losing it big time. So if you'd like to help and can help, we'd sure appreciate it. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we sure do thank you for the privilege of coming to church tonight. Pray now that you'd bless this offering this evening. Let it be just what you want it to be. Have your way in our life. God, do what ought to be done here tonight. Save that one which is lost. Encourage that one that may be down and out. Bless this money, multiply it, meet the need, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated.
Amen. All right. As you can see, the restroom signs are there. They're back there. I know everybody's just a little restless tonight, just getting in here, and everybody hungry and everything else. But we're going we're gonna to get in touch with the Lord here tonight. And I hope you already have. We've been praying for months and months and months. I appreciate Brother Jason, Miss Crystal, and their family. Been a part of our church many years. Friends for many years, just since they were kids. And uh, thank God for them. They're going to sing for you now. I know they'll be a blessing to you. Amen. I I can't say enough how I appreciate where the Lord's brought us from. And uh, the half truly has never been told about God's goodness. Amen. He's never forsaken me. He's always took care of us. Amen.
that they do. Some men count on the times they pray through, but when the battle's over and the victory I'll go home through the blood of the Father's only Son, and it's still the blood that saves from sin. It's still the blood that cleanses within from the highest star in heaven. The depths of the sea is still the blood of Jesus that brings victory to me. I was just going to go right into this next song, but we've been singing a song lately. And I was telling, telling Brother Eugene, telling everybody, but I just can't believe I'm here. Amen. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not just talking about being here. I'm just talking about from where I was to where I am. Amen. I, I'm talking about if you'd seen where I was when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, walking out of the pot smoke and kicking by the beer cans, getting on a church bus, and seeing, seeing Miss Carrie and Brother Danny and, me, and seeing them and thinking, man, I'm so far from them, and I was, and I was lost in sin, so far from God, but I sit here tonight, got a beautiful family, and I see people uptown, Brother Danny, and they say, boy, you're doing good, and I say, you have no idea. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It was about a Savior that found me when I was a 15-year-old drunk. I was a 15-year-old drunk going straight to hell. All kind of my family's on methamphetamines and pills. And brother, there ain't nothing good about me or my name's sake. But the Lord's been good to me. And I'm telling you, it's all Him. And I ain't nothing and He's everything. Glory to His holy name. Amen. It's all Him. Glory to God. I'm a sorry dog not to be in hell. But this song says I'm amazed that He'd take the time. Amen. And I've been singing it because I've been meaning it. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Start with that chorus. I am amazed He'd take the time To give me such blessings And fill up my life He is so good I cannot express How thankful I am I'm so blessed Yes! I stand here and think about just what he's done I'm counting my blessings one by one I sure don't deserve nope. what he's done for me I'll praise him forever for eternity Sing now I am amazed he take the time To give me such blessings and fill up my life Oh, he is so good I cannot express how thankful I am. I am so blessed. He's given me breath and He's given me life. He saved my lost yep. soul from sin and from strife. He died on the cross just to show me His love. Blessings and fill up my life. He is so good. I cannot express how thankful I am. I am amazed. He take the time to give me such blessings and fill up my life. He is so good. I cannot express. Thankful I am. I am so blessed. Sing one more and we're going to sit down and hear some good preaching. Amen. As 
As the world looks upon me As I struggle along They say I have nothing But they are so wrong In my heart I'm rejoicing Love, Lord, and a fine family. 